Hello everybody. Today I have a Miss Pac-Man. I've got the daughter card over here. Um, the cable had a couple broken pins. Where is it? Yeah, that broke. Uh, the customer broke them off before they sent it in. Uh, they sent me a note, said that they've got that, and I'm just looking at all this. Okay, what do we got here? We got here's the board. Here is the Miss Pack daughter card. And the filter board. The filter board can go away. I mean they don't need this. So it'll probably just disappear. So first off, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull out my trusty uh, two bit score ABC test ROM kit. Cut this off. Let's see, get rid of the, the zip tie so I can access this socket. This actually looks pretty good. I took, it to, took a look at the board. Let's see. Took a look at the board. Everything seems to be okay. There's a little bit of a problem on the finger, but I think that that should clean right up. It doesn't look like it's burned through, it's just a little little burn. So we'll put that on there. Pop this 285 back on. Alright. Hook up our jammer connector. And I'm at a new angle today. I lowered the camera. I don't know why, I just did. So we'll see what happens. All right, let's uh, pop this up on the screen, turn it on, and we'll see what we get. Okay. I've seen this a little bit lately. I don't know if it's my monitor. Maybe the caps are going on my monitor. Um, but it says it's got a couple bad rams. Let's try to get here. Oh, and that darn, darn. You know, I took it apart, fixed it, and now it's screwed up again. All right. So let's let that monitor warm up. Yeah. That doesn't look very good. Let's see what we got. My monitor's warming up now. <laughs> I think I need a cap kit on my test monitor. There we go. All right, so we definitely have some kind of a, a RAM issue. Let's, let's make sure my pins are good on the 284, 285s. We have a bent pin here. Let's install this again. All right. My blue. Gosh. There it is. All right. But it looks like the board's okay. Switch test. Interrupt test. Fine. Watchdog test. Sound test. Oh, I'm getting nothing. Let's see why. Sound one, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, squelch, return. <laughs> interesting. Grid, light grid, of course we're missing blue. right. All right. Flip video. Boom, boom. Return to main menu. All right, let's turn it off and try his daughter card again. Well, we haven't actually haven't tried the daughter card. Here's his Miss Pack card. It could have been just the ribbon cable. Okay, I'm getting nothing. So, first thing we'll do is check his Z80 because that just doesn't, it looks like a dead Z80. Could be the EPROMs too, I, I don't know yet. All right, now we've got a Z80 in there, working Z80. I'm seeing nothing. Time to get the test probe out. Logic probe. Okay, hold on just a sec. All right, I got my logic probe hooked up. Let's let's check some signals here. One, two, three, four, five, six. I got I've got signal. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six is high, so it's trying to run. It's resetting. Okay, which probably means let's do this. We don't know if it's these ROMs, but I suspect these ROMs are bad because we ran this and it worked fine. So usually that means these, the, uh, the RAM are okay. We've tested them. What we haven't tested is the ROMs. So we'll put a, a Z80 in here. If I can do that. Z80's in. First, I'm just going to pop this puppy in. Put this right back. Okay, so what do we get on the screen? All right. Well, we have a game. Now we have a working Pac-Man board, so that means something's wrong on the aux card, the auxiliary card, which, uh, okay, I'm going to turn this off. Wow, that's great. Uh, everything tests on the main board. Tests good. So, we'll put the, uh, put the ribbon cable back on. 
We know the ribbon cable is good too because it runs the test board. Okay, put the CPU back. We know the CPU is good because we just saw it running. And let's try it again. Everything's plugged in. Nothing. Now, if you take PAL number one or zero out, which is U, what is it? U1. It should boot to Pac Man. It's not doing that, so something's wrong here on this auxiliary card. The watchdog is chirping away. Let's see, that's pin 26. Yeah, it's just beep, beep, beep. So I'm going to remove the EEPROMs one at a time. Check for bent legs. Huh. Let's try it again. Okay. We still got the same chirping. So we're not seeing anything. Well, now I'm getting something. Let's see. I'm wondering if I have a bad CPU socket. Or one of these sockets is bad. Let's see. Okay. This is the socket on the Z80 or on the aux card. There's a pin stuck in there from the old ribbon cable. So I'm going to pull that out and I bet this, I bet this socket right here on this aux card is probably bad. So I'm going to replace that and we'll, we'll see where we are from there. The other thing I need to do is check the EEPROMs on this. Um, let's come out. I'm going to check these EEPROMs over here. Uh, I have another set of PALs if I need them. Um, and then I'm going to test this socket and see if it's, if it's okay. And we'll see where we're at. Okay, I've tested all these chips and they're all good. I've removed everything, reinstalled them. Let's put it up on the screen and see what we get. If anything. Hmm. Okay. Got a working Miss Pac-Man. So it looks like the sockets on the aux card. And that was it. And a bad ribbon cable. Very cool. Another pack lives. Thanks for watching.